Nothing in the night world. Nothing in the night world? Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, this is JLW Reads, and today we are going to be talking about the new House of Night novel. That's right, I said new and House of Night novel in the same sentence. The first House of Night novel by PC and Kristen Cast is called Marked. Looks something like this. It came out approximately around 2007, so we're looking at about 10 years since the first book was published. This is a series that most of us who have read the series and some people who have not completed the series because it is 12 books and 4 novellas. Most people, myself included, felt like it could be completed in about 4 or 5 books and the story would have been complete. So I guess the main question is, why? Why in the world are they writing another book from this same series? I have no idea. That's not to say that I didn't like the original series. If you've watched my bookish tattoo video, my one and only tattoo is a bookish tattoo and it is a quote from the House of Night series for many reasons and I will link that video above and below so that you can look at that and kind of get the reason behind it. I mean, it's not like I hate the series or anything, but I'm just curious as to why there's going to be more. I'm going to quickly read the synopsis from Amazon about what the new book titled Loved is about. It's Zoe's 18th birth miss and the nerd herd has scattered across the country busily adulting for almost a year when Stark calls them back to Tulsa to surprise Z. But all is not well in T-Town. Strange dark signs are appearing. Could it be possible Nefera is stirring? Not willing to chance disaster striking again, Zoe calls on her newly reunited friends to circle with her and add a layer of protection over Nefera's grotto jail. Easy peasy, right? wrong. Nothing at the House of Night is ever as it seems. With rabid red vampires closing in, Zoe and the nerd herd must come together again and battle evil. But a year is a long time. Have those old friends grown too far apart? When the world fractures and allies become enemies, will darkness devour friendships or will light save those she's loved? My original thought about this was, first off, it's only been a year. Why are they suddenly thinking that all of their friendships have completely fallen apart? Like, I have had friendships with people where I haven't talked to them for four years just because of life being crazy and when you get back together like everything is just normal and perfect again. So why is like 12 months you've been apart 12 months and suddenly you can't be friends anymore and like your whole relationships are falling apart which makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. And the second thing is, it was supposed to be an end. Like, it was supposed to be this final ending. You know, uh, Nefret was in the grotto jail, and it was, like, the one way to defeat her. But suddenly, they're kind of implying that they didn't defeat her. Like, you had one villain throughout 12 books. Okay, there was more than one villain, but one main villain throughout 12 books. And what you're telling me was you weren't able to defeat that one villain in 12 books. Really? Really? Now, one of the best things about Nefret throughout the series was the beginning of book 12, and just, it got kind of dark, like, in a way that you don't necessarily see from anything else in the entire series, and I really liked that about it. Like, that was probably my favorite book for that reason, A, because it was over, and B, because Nefret was freaking dark as crap, and I loved that. It's like, I don't know, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I guess this video is just kind of like a, oh my gosh, they're making another book, do I want to read it? Yeah. Am I going to read it? Yeah, probably. When I first seen their little video where they were announcing it, I really sat there staring at the video like, really? Really, guys? Really? This is what we're doing? This is what we chose to do with our lives? Okay, great. I don't know. Am I going to be happy about it? That remains to be seen, but... I'll add it to my TBR and I'll read it at some point and I don't know if I'll like it or not but I guess I have to like give it the old team try hopefully because Zoe is technically an adult now because she's 18 her relationship with Stark won't be like one of the most convoluted relationships of all time from a young adult novel like it was the most annoying thing on the planet to me and I think at some point I was basically only reading the story for Stevie Ray. Like Stevie Ray was the only character towards the end that I even cared about. Stevie Ray and Nefret. Like, you like the villain and the best friend and everyone else is just kind of there. They're calling this the Otherworld series. The House of Night Otherworld series. 
which means it's not just one more book. It's a whole nother series. I think they replied in a comment to someone that they're looking at there only being like two or three books in this series, but I'm pretty sure that the House of Night was only supposed to be like five or six and it ended up being 12. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen here, but I'm kind of worried about it. So July 11th is the release date for this. Sometime around July, I will probably read it just to get it done and over with and see what happens. I'm sure it's a quick read because they always are. And we will give you an update then. That's it for today's video, guys. Friday's video is going to be about my writing fears and what I think holds me back from my writing. So it's going to be a completely different video than this one. I hope to see you guys there. If you are interested in seeing what's going to be happening in the House of Night novels, if you think that it's the most ridiculous idea ever, uh, leave it in the comments. Let me know. We'll talk about it down there and we will move on from there. Talk to you guys later. Bye.